Hello, my name is Ryan Tabor and I'm a solutions consultant with Beyond 20. Today we are going to walk through the back end of how specifics are created based on their default configuration. To get started, we are going to be in the orange client looking at the form view of incident. Right clicking on the embedded form and selecting control properties lets us see that this form is populated from the incident owned specific relationship. From here, we will navigate over to the relationship manager and select the incident owns specifics relationship, clicking edit. We can see that specifics is owned by incident in a one-to-one -one relationship. No default group member is selected. In the links tab, I can see that this relationship is established using the parent rec ID in specifics, and that the incident rec ID, and that the incident rec ID is auto-populated into specifics to establish this relationship. Moving to the advanced tab, we can see that in addition to being automatically created with the incident, specifics forms are deleted along with their parent. But how does incident determine which specifics group member to create? Moving down to groups, we can see that the type is set to change automatically based off of the specifics type ID. We can also see that the creation of the specifics record and the creation of this relationship is based off of the determination of this field. After that, then, the question is, how is the specifics type ID determined? Exiting the Relationship Manager, we will look over at the Object Manager. Locating the specifics type ID, we can see that it is a calculated value. Accessing the field and moving to the Properties tab, accessing the field and moving to the Properties tab, we can see that the calculated value is determined by an expression called Specifics Picker. The expression is evaluated top down, with a first match determining the value assigned to the expression. In most cases, an incident subcategory will be assigned a specifics group member from the incident subcategory table. If so, the specifics type value will be used in that group member assigned. If no specifics is present within incident subcategory, then incident category will be used, and then finally service. If none of these relationships yield a valid specifics ID, a stored value will be placed in by default, specifics generic ID. This concludes the out of the box method on how specifics are created and assigned to incident. Hopefully you found this interesting and we will see you next time.